What's up, lads? Josh here, and welcome back to yet another episode of FIFA 15 Orbit Team Predictions. This one is going to be a deadline day special, as you can see on the screen now. We will be covering, I think, uh, there's 22 players in this episode, so it might be quite a long video. We will have to wait and see after the render. Um, but if you guys look to buy some coins, do be sure to check the link in the description for UT coins for you, selling for £3 on the Xbox and £4 on the PlayStation. Use the code JG94 to get an additional 5% at checkout. And apart from that, let's get straight into this video and let's go cover some players. Alrighty guys, we're going to be going through these players really quickly, so if you need to hear something about the player, just quickly pause it, and then of course, you know, just go back or whatever and watch it back again, but um, I'm going to talk about Hernandez now, and he has gone from uh, Manchester United to Real Madrid on loan, and I'm going to give him an 82 rated striker card for Real Madrid, 88 pace, 74 dribbling, 75 shooting, 44 defending, 61 passing, and 68 physical, 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. Up next is Radamel Falcao, guys, he has recently transferred over from Monaco to Manchester United on a one-year long loan deal cannot wait to see him play uh, gonna give him an 89 rated striker card for Manchester United 78 pace 85 shooting 60 passing 79 dribbling 54 defending and 88 physical four star weak foot and four star skill moves Michael Richards is the next player guys we're going to talk about 78 rated right back card for Fiorentina it seems like he's gone to there for I guess game time um, so Man City to Fiorentina for Michael Richards and uh, I'm going to give him 78 pace 70 dribbling 49 shooting 79 defending 69 passing and 89 physical 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Abel Hernandez is the next player, guys. He has recently transferred over from Palermo in the second Italian league to, of course, Hull City, and it is a whopping 10 million, so quite a big fee. But I'm going to give him a 72 rated card, 92 pace, uh, 68 shooting, 51 passing, 71 dribbling, 44 defending, 71 physical, 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. Mohamed Diami is the next player, guys, and he is another Hull transfer from West Ham this time. An absolutely superb transfer for only 4 million. Very, very cheap, incredible player. Definitely rate him. Should be in the top four teams, in my opinion. Um, but 79 pace, 67 shooting, 70 passing, 85 dribbling, 72 defending, and 75 physical. Four star weak foot and three star skill moves. Danny Welbeck is the next player, guys, and he has moved over from Manchester United to Arsenal for £16 million. That is a lot of money, but uh, I'm kind of sad to see him go. I really did like Danny Welbeck um, in the Man United colours, but good luck to him at Arsenal. I'm going to give him 77 rated striker card, 85 pace, 72 shooting, 70 passing, 80 dribbling, 45 defending, 82 physical, 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. Toby Alderweireld is the next player, guys, and he has moved over from Atletico Madrid to Southampton on a one-year long loan deal. And uh, I'm going to give him a 78 rated centre back card for Southampton, 62 pace, 58 shooting, 70 passing, 59 dribbling, 79 defending, 78 physical, that is meant to be 3 star weak foot and 2 star scummers but I've completely got them the wrong way around, my bad, let's move on to the next player. Ben Arthur is the next player to be transferred guys and he has gone from Newcastle to Hull City on a one year long loan deal and of course he has the 5 star skiller that everybody uses on FIFA so this will be a pretty awesome um, a pretty awesome transfer, transfer I guess. Um, I'm going to give him a 78 rated right, mac, uh, right mid card sorry, for Hull City, going to give him 82 pace, 75 shots, 76 passing, 86 dribbling, 45 defending, 74 physical, 3 star weak foot and of course keeping that 5 star skill moves. Gaston Ramirez, guys, is the next transfer, and he has gone from Southampton to Hull City once again on a, a long, one-year-long loan deal. Uh, and I guess, I guess it's for game time again because he did get injured quite bad, and then he didn't seem to get back into the team. And I guess now he feels like he can at Hull City. But I'm going to give him a 78-rated uh, central attacking mid card for Hull, 76 pace, 74 shooting, 73 passing, 84 dribbling, 49 defending, 70 physical, three star weak foot, and four star skill moves. Amalfitano, guys, is the next player to be transferred, and he has gone from Marseille to West Ham. I think it's for about a million pounds. It's an undisclosed fee, but it seems to be just under or just over a million, so not too much that West Ham are spending on this player. But 75 rated right wing card, I'm going to give him for West Ham. 73 pace, 66 shooting, 77 passing, 76 dribbling, 60 defending, 64 physical, 4 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. Asayidi is the next transfer to talk about and he has come from Liverpool and basically gone straight out to Stoke City again on a, a loan year deal. I think this is his second year on loan now, twice in a row, and uh, he seems to quite like it at Stoke, so maybe they'll get a full transfer eventually, but I'm going to give him a 74 rated left wing card for Stoke City, 86 pace, 67 shooting, 65 passing, 86 dribbling, 42 uh, defence and 54 physical, 4 star weak foot and 5 star skill moves, of course, keeping that skill moves because you can't really lose skill. 
skill moves in my opinion, and uh, that will make him highly sought after in the BPL um, on FIFA 15 hopefully. Van Ginkel is the next player to talk about guys and he has moved over from Chelsea to AC Milan, very similar to of course Torres, he's gone out on a two year loan deal and Van Ginkel has gone out on a one year loan deal um, instead of two years of course, and uh, I'm going to give him a 76 rated centre mid card for AC Milan, 78 pace, 68 shooting, 74 passing, 74 dribbling, 66 defending, 78 uh, physical, 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. Alessio Cerci is the next player we're going to talk about guys and he has transferred from Torino to Atletico Madrid, quite a big transfer in the transfer deadline day uh, well day I guess or the window and um, I'm gonna give him an 82 rated central forward card for Atletico Madrid I'm gonna give it 88 pace 79 shooting 84 passing 84 dribbling 51 defending 72 physical four star weak foot and four star skill moves Sandro is the next player we're going to talk about guys and he has transferred over from Spurs to QPR and I think the rumoured transfer fee is 6 to 10 mil, I'm not too sure of the official number and I'm pretty sure you know it seems to be you know like some people are um, uh, reporting that it's 6 mil, some people are reporting that it's 10 mil so 6 to 10 mil somewhere within that region is the price for Sandro to QPR and I think it's a pretty decent bargain right there for QPR and uh, I'm going to give him an 81 rated central defensive mid uh, for QPR, 71 pace, 68 shooting, 74 passing, 80 5 dribbling, 80 defending, 73 physical, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. Sebastian Cortez is the next player we're going to talk about guys and he has transferred over from Liverpool to Sunderland for a one year long loan deal and uh, looks like a fairly average card to be honest, nothing special um, other than the defending and a little bit of pace I guess but 60 pace, uh, 40 shooting, 38 passing, 45 dribbling, 75 defending and 55 physical, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Yanga Mbiwa is the next player we're going to talk about guys and I'm going to give him a 76 rated centre back card for Roma. He has recently transferred over to um, Roma from Newcastle, only on a one year long loan deal though so nothing to worry about Newcastle fans if you wanted him back, I'm not too sure or not. Um, but 71 pace, 36 shooting, 63 passing, 64 dribbling, 78 defending, 79 physical, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Alvaro Negredo is the next player that is recently moving out and he has gone in on loan to Valencia from Man City. Quite a strange one. I thought he was quite enjoying his time here. You know, he had a great season last season and of course won the you know won the premiership with Man City in his first year, so a fantastic time for him. But apparently he's getting homesick or something and he's going back over to Spain uh, for a one year long loan deal. But 84 rated striker card, I'm gonna give him for Valencia. 74 pace, 85 shooting, 69 passing, 80 dribbling, 51 defending, and 87 physical. Three star for and also three star skill moves. Nico Crunchy is the next player we're going to talk about guys and he has basically followed Harry Redknapp around you know stalking him but basically he's uh, you know he's signed for QPR and I think it's a loan deal yeah it's a loan deal from Dynamo Kiev to QPR and you know once again he is with Harry Redknapp um, seems to be following him around everywhere he goes Redknapp wants Crunchy and uh, normally Sandro so I guess that's what's that's a thing now but um, 75 rated central attacking mid card I'm going to give him for QPR 66 pace 76 shooting 77 passing, 80 dribbling, 47 defending, 64 physical, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Nick Powell is the next transfer we are going to talk about guys and he has moved over from Manchester United to uh, to Leicester City, I was going to say Hull City then but no, Leicester City um, on a one year long loan deal, uh, once again another loan, count the loans, I have honestly no idea how many people have loaned over this season, I guess uh, people want to just be try, you know, trial and error I guess um, on certain players but 69 rated card for central mid Powell I'm going to give him, um, 76 pace, 64 shooting, 62 passing, 64 dribbling, 44 defending and 61 physical. 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Sadio Mane is the next player we're going to talk about guys and he has recently transferred over from Red Bull Salzburg to Southampton for £10 million. Not really heard of the guy and that is a lot of money to pay for a lesser known player but I guess that is a risk they are willing to take to replace um, Lalana or you know any other players that they have lost this season. Um, but 88 pace, I'm going to give him on a 72, late, uh, 72 rated left wing card for Southampton of course. 88 pace, 71 shooting, 60 passing, 76 dribbling, 44 defending, 62 physical, 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. And finally guys, we're going to talk about MacArthur recently transferring over from Wigan to Crystal Palace for £7 million. Quite a lot of money to spend, but I guess um, Crystal Palace feel they need a new central mid. And uh, I'm going to give him a 70 rated central mid card for Crystal Palace. 68 pace, 60 shooting, 70 passing, 71 dribbling, 70 defending and 62 physical. 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot also. 
Thank you guys for watching this deadline day special of FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Predictions. It took me a very, very long time to make. It took me like six hours to make. So hopefully you guys appreciate how much time and effort I put into this video. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching. If, again, if you did enjoy it, leave a like rating. Uh, comment down below who you think did the best business in the transfer window. In my, in my opinion, I think it was Hull. They did an absolutely perfect job and pulled in some absolute great players for really cheap and pulled in some great loanee deals as well. So let that uh, leave that in the comments and I'll, you know, have a bit of a discussion with you guys uh, whenever the video is live but apart from that guys I want to thank you guys for watching if you did, if you did enjoy this video do be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and follow me on twitter at 24 and apart from that guys I'll see you guys soon peace